When you're talking about Jameis Winston in the pocket, nobody's open, dumping it off to Alvin Kamara. That's a really good option. And if he's not there, that's going to hurt. Let's take a look at a rookie wide receiver in Chris Olave. I expect big things out of Chris Olave in this offense. But again, he's still a rookie. What happens if he struggles, Kevin, out of the gate? Four, five, six, seven games. We're wondering, hey, where's the guy that's still trying to find his feet in the NFL? Jarvis Landry is a very good slot wide receiver. Healthy now coming over with something to prove for the Saints. That should help. But Michael Thomas is that ultimate wild card. Two years ago, you would have had an argument, any legit one, that Michael Thomas is the best wide receiver in the game. So obviously some guys have passed him by here over the past year and a half where he hasn't been out on the field. What happens if he comes back? And in week two, his ankle gives out again, and he's out for the rest of the season. Those are valid questions to ask. But if I'm being an optimist right now on the New Orleans Saints and I get a suspension for Kamara, that's not six games and maybe two games. And Michael Thomas starts the season and Jameis Winston looks great in training camp. This is a team that I'm not going to say does damage Kevin and wins the NFC. But certainly, if we're looking at win totals in that eight and a half price range, this is a team that should be 500 or better if some average things, Kevin, break right for them. That win total is eight and a half. So it's right in the ballpark. But Kamara is going to be suspended. Potentially six games at this point, guessing when suspensions are coming or how long they are going to be, we have learned is a fool's errand in the NFL. When the news comes, yeah. we'll let you know. But the thing with that wide receiver core, while certainly a talented group, no doubt about it, Donnie, this is not a situation where Jameis enters with a world of comfortability here. Again, Chris Olave, a complete rookie, is going to have to get adjusted to the NFL. You've got a Jarvis Landry now leaving Cleveland, coming over here. And Jameis Winston and Michael Thomas have no, rep uh, have no rapport with one another. That is not, like, that is not a, a group that is played together at all. Michael Thomas missed all of last season with the New Orleans Saints because of that injury. And we have to see how Michael Thomas looks after missing that much football. Because when Michael Thomas came back from the injury that he suffered week one of the 2020 season, he didn't look like the same guy. I'm not saying he looked like a bad wide receiver, but to your point, he at one point was viewed as maybe the best wide receiver. And certainly coming off of the, the 2019 season was clearly viewed as the best wide receiver in the NFL, breaking the single season catch record. So rightfully so, he had earned that moniker, no doubt about it. But there is kind of already, Donnie, easy, I think, ways to see where things go wrong. And, but again, maybe the easiest thing that can go wrong, Donnie, is one of the five best coaches in the sport no longer being on the sidelines. And I think you and I can agree on that. Sean Payton has won football games with Drew Brees or Teddy Bridgewater or Jameis Winston or or Tyson, Taysom Hill, or whomever they threw his direction. This is going to be adjustment for everybody in the organization that Sean Payton is no longer around, and that has to matter when we're breaking down this team coming into the year. 